previously in Dorgan. In his absence, Sir J. Starkin had a meeting with Lady Galafiel inside the Feywild. The warlock hoped that his patron would lend soldiers to the Draconian Empire so they might reclaim Sarvakai. However, Lady Galafiel dismissed his request, stating that she needed all of her soldiers in the coming war against the Summer Court. But she did inform Sir Jace how he could gain more power and allies for the war against the Kingdom of Caracas. Sir Jace obliged, and so he married Willow, the daughter of Lord Roden, Archspey of the Wild Hunt. With this union, Sir Jace became able to briefly command the ghost of those he slay and was granted a magic horn that once could summon the Wild Hunt to his side. Meanwhile, Aurora was in communion with Vesh. The God of Shadows offered to make her his first champion, which she accepted. In doing so, Vesh revealed his true face and granted Aurora the title, Fatebreaker, and with it, the ability to prevent the possibility of an enemy from ever occurring. In the very next moment, all except Naris rejoined within the Law Reservoir. After the Hounds of War reconvened and Sir Jace introduced them to his wife, Lady Willow, the heroes began to study on the subject of divine champions, hoping to learn more about them and their current locations. They came to the conclusion that the champion of Arkan was the Lich Ezekiel, whereas the champion of Myra resided somewhere in Gunwell. Meanwhile, in order to locate the champion of Felica, the heroes needed to return to Chateau Vare, whereas the champion of Bonro was linked to the reforging of the divine weapon, Stormhook. But before the Hounds of War could begin the search, the Law Reservoir was suddenly invaded by the beholder Lord Drydux the Behatted and a group of slabs. Shen attempted to intervene, but was neutralized by Lord Drydux, trapping the heroes within the dimension containing the library. A fight broke out, and while Willow was gravely wounded and infected with slard eggs, the heroes won the battle and Derry cured the infected. The heroes then departed Solisian, setting course for the city of Runedale. Here they briefly met with the city's ruler, Duchess Shauna, who did not appreciate their arrival, and later was revealed to be ill-prepared to guide a city in war. Fortunately, with the aid of the priest Sunny, the rogues of the party managed to track down the champion of Myra, the Dwarven bounty hunter. Kalgrim Stouthammer. And so you uh, guided uh, Kalgrim, uh, a bounty hunter, uh, to one of the pubs in town. I believe it was the Seal of Comfort, uh, the inn there. Yes. Uh, where all your party now have reconvened. And essentially, you tell Kalgrim of what has happened and why you are searching for these champions. And he's like, all right, so just so I get this straight. You telling me that you are an adventuring group working official, unofficially for the Empire who was supposed to aid us, but is now getting the ass kicked by the same enemy that's kicking our ass. Yeah. Hmm. And to win the war, you need to defeat a woman most people thought destroyed or defeated a millennia ago. And I'm a champion of the goddess of light and justice. Succinct. Hmm. We have fucked, aren't we? Just a wee bit. Oh, well. Well, now the will say this required quite many leaps of faith. Um, but unfortunately, the way everything's going right now, I don't really see any reason why you'll be lying about this. Also, the whole, you're shining, but that's weird. And that's because when the champions are close with one another, they can actually see like that aura of the gods. Which I forgot to mention when Aurora and Eos were close by. Yes, okay. And <laughs> pretty. Yeah, again, you're always dashing. I mean, I, I feel like every time I meet Aurora, she has some new power and stuff. <laughs> she has some new ability, so I, I think he's just sort of now like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Are you shining up? And Calgrim then says, All right, I'd be willing to join your crew of champions, but I need to make sure that this town will be safe when I'm gone. Do any of you know about the Stouthammer family? You can roll in history check. Uh, yeah, again, you all oh, reconvened. Okay. Uh, oh, right. Um, <laughs> reintroducing Naris into the narrative. Uh, Naris, you have succeeded in guiding the people of uh, Sovakai to the town of Evergale, and once that was done, oh, sorry, Everjourn, and once that was done, you tree strided to the tree mast of the Skyrim, oh, yeah. and then joined the rest of the party. A brilliant invention, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Again, you lost an arm and re grew it, but. And is it? Yeah, you, you could history check. 22. 22. 
22. 22. 22. Damn it. I kill you. I kill you. I kill Jess. <laughs> With the sword. No resurrection. No, no, no resurrection for you? Nope. Um. All right, you have no. both heard about him. Jay's probably because doing all your uh, search throughout history and knowledge uh, general, he is probably because you borrowed some of Jay's books. I'm an idiot like, savant. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know that um, there was this war called the Hollow War that happened about 3,000 uh, years ago uh, between what is now known as the Alliance and the Savage Legion. This obviously is essentially like the pre, uh, prequel to the Karakan Empire, and as it consisted of gnolls, orcs, ogres, all these sort of uncivilized uh, savages. The alliance, on the other hand, were like humans, dwarfs, and so forth. Um, the war. Uh, so what are they called? Savage Legion? The Savage Legion, yeah. And the war was called what, sorry? Uh, the Hollow War. Hollow War, yeah. Okay. yeah. The war reached a point where the alliance could not win by themselves, and so uh, a plan was devised that in order to win, they need to build an army. And so they created the Shapen, which is like a collective term to describe, for instance, golems, the Warforge, certain homunculi and so forth. And you two know that the Stauhammers were some of the most uh, prolific uh, artists during that time. Nice <laughs> like, all right, show off. Wait, so did they build for the good guys or the bad guys? They built for the good guys. And, and this guy is a member of that family? Yeah, uh, again. Or clan or whatever. Yeah, he, he tells you he's actually one of the last uh, remaining, and he's not an artifice himself. What's his name? Warforge. Uh, Calgren. <laughs> Calgren, right. Did you say Warforge? Yeah. Yeah. You know what they're like. Actually, you don't. Not specifically, no, I don't. you don't. I, I don't. <laughs> Actually, you do have uh, you know, met some in Delta Bay, and they were fine. Some in Delta Bay, yeah. yeah. As soon as you mentioned Warforce, I'm having a number. I mean, other than that, I've seen the uh, the iconography on. Uh, yeah, true. <laughs> that every yeah, time. Like, that's only what. They're true. Yeah. Helping. Um, Always forget. Warforce. <laughs> And Calvin Vincent. But you always forget that I'm wearing the armor of my of my my patron. <laughs> yes. Did you? Yeah. Well, all of us. I mean, how often do you get that opportunity? Yeah. <laughs> Would I be becoming massively macabre? I don't know. Yeah. So Karam says, My ancestors, after the war, decided to move to Rundel and settle down here. And they wanted to protect this town in case something like the whole war ever happened again. And from what I've learned throughout the ages, it appears they created something called simply the Great Guardian, meant to protect Rundel in case war should occur again. Knowledge that is lost today, Jess and I have only managed to find various bits and bobs throughout the time. But I have a lead that might say that it resides within Mount Vertex. You, again, because you have flown over the, uh, the nation of Gonwell, you know that uh, Mount Vertex is an extinct uh, volcano located in a place called the Cinderfields, and it is west from, uh, from Runedale. Let's say something for something. You help me find this great guardian so it can protect Rundale and also ensure that it's safety while I'm gone. And return, I will join you through and win the war. Yeah, yeah. Uh, defeat the, the wish. Aye. So, yeah. you need to go to the map. How far is it? Again, with the sky of magic, it will only take a couple of hours. Uh, again, the, the, the whole again, the reason why he puts this forward to you is because you have an airship, mm-hmm. which is the only means of actually getting out of town. As and, not right now, because it's under siege, and oh, yeah. um, as you also learned when you talk to a general, again, every sort of communication and so forth has been completely blocked off. Mm-hmm. So even teleportation is. Uh... It's it's difficult to say the least. Again, you were lucky in that you got through, but you can feel like the resistance that you had to like pierce through a barrier in order to do so. Alright, so that's pretty high tech, uh, or high uh, advanced. Again, essentially they are trying to bunker down and make sure that the people inside just lose by hmm. uh, loss of resources. But yeah. we but we got in because we flew. Yes, and uh, you take it again, after, uh, again, you take it that the fact that you got through was because they didn't anticipate and fly. Uh, fly. That might be not be the case when you fly out again. Right. But... Alright. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can agree to those folks. Yeah, it seems reasonable. I mean, I think we should try to save or protect the city no matter what yeah. we do, really. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, sorry. What What did you think was in the mountain? Tell us what getting. Uh, the Great so Guardian. The Great Guardian. Oh, okay. um, he doesn't know entirely what it is, 
It might be a living creature, it might be a construct, seems likely, given the ancestry. Maybe of, it's friendship. Yeah. And <laughs> no, that's in your heart all along. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's because it's recorded from the moon's eyes all along. <laughs> and, uh, uh, by the way, before the uh, attack on the capital, I think we spoke of upgrading the airship. Did we actually do that? You didn't get to we that just, point. It because just, uh, again, I think we just paid them. No. Oh. <laughs> and now they're dead. So, really, who lost that one? I mean, I feel like... No, actually, many of the people you like hired to have, have actually been transported to Evergale, so it might be postponed rather well, than... All the ones we didn't like were dead. Yeah. True. Uh, this mount vertex, uh, can I roll a history check and see if I have any idea what we might face once we get there? Certainly. 26. Damn. Creatures of the elemental planes like to find places that are similar to their own native place. So, like, right. fire elementals might be something you might encounter. Again, you don't know for certain. It can, it can also be that it's completely abandoned, there's no living creatures there. But it was uh, uh, a volcano that is no longer... Uh, and I'm going to say with that high roll, you know it has been a nest for dragon, but nobody has heard or seen that dragon for ages. Yes. <laughs> yes, <right. laughs> so it's fine. Room isn't here, say. Well, well you, you guess it's fine because it's been so long and a dragon that what, got into that age would not have left the city like Roomdale alone. Listen, I am now resistant to five no, it's four out of five different kinds of dragon breath, okay? So as long as it's not blue or whatever one of the good guys is shoots lightning, I'm fine. Why would you say that out loud? That's just... Universe? <laughs> <laughs> you see Cargo and start to make a note. Nope. <laughs> and I feel like we've already killed the blue dragon. No. No. Shit. <laughs> that really got shot unconscious, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, need, I, need some form, I need some form of lightning resistance. <laughs> I really need to get out completely. So I'm fine, good. which is the most important. <laughs> <laughs> Just see both Jason and Kago look at me like, good. I'm glad to get that. Oh, but also I can't oh, die. Oh, good. For oh, wait, what? You. Hmm? Oh, don't worry about it. It's uh, it's a whole thing with my uh, the guardian, the, the, god, the, guardian the, god, the god that I'm a champion. For. Great. So what's my perk? I don't get to break law. So what? <laughs> Who are you the guy, the, the, uh, the person of? No, well, you told me it's my era. I haven't oh, okay. really talked to a god. Hey. So. Oh, really? But, okay. So anything people need to do in town before we head well, out? Well, I suggest you, if you don't have any climbing gear and so forth, food, resources like that, you might want to get that. It might be a bit hard climbing for... Climbing gear? Well, we're gonna... Dungeoneer. Oh, and that... I thought you meant... Or 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 what I, I think we have a shit for that. Uh, that's a, I think that's a good point. Yeah. So what you're saying is I have to, I should probably prefer pre prepare spider climb. I might be yours. Or I don't know, fly. Hmm. Huh? Okay. Cool. <laughs> I, can't we, can't, can't we all have a bit? I mean, I, yeah. assuming are we are we leaving Aurora and uh, Aurora and uh, they staying on Blake, the they'll be stay on the airship in order to protect that. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I should leave town. Because cool. then I mean, then there's only you who sort of. But well, you can do stuff, can you? I fly. So. Calvin, do you have a, do you have the ability, magical ability to fly? <laughs> oh, let me check. Uh, no. Is, well, maybe that's your power. Can you try and, um, can Anastasia carry two people? Uh, no, but I can fly myself. So. Don't worry, I'm a you dwarf. Fly, I think land? I can do yeah. the whole uh, dwell uh, into my, the deep. Uh, lance saber, let's do that. So does anyone watch that one? Carl Grimm stab him. No, no, I can cast fly on two people as well, it's cool. Okay. Okay. Or, or I could uh, have someone on my back as a giant eagle. Yeah, and again, we're going to go into a cave, you know, flying is not always the optimal option. No, I think it is. Yeah. I think you'll find that in fact it is the I mean, the, the biggest concern with flying is strong winds, which you tend to avoid in caves. Yeah, and space. But Oric, Oric... Listen, Kag, I'm sorry. You're the dwarf. You know caverns. That's fucking racist. Let, it's true, but it's fucking uh, racist. Listen, I think... I, you know what, I think you're absolutely right. I think, uh, as, an, as a, you know, because magic fails sometimes, you know, you get into situations where maybe that's not an option. Who knows what we'll face? I think getting climbing gear is a really good idea. Okay, and if you have the adventure kit, you essentially have all the things. We already have it, yeah. Cargrim. <laughs> so why are you like this? <laughs> I just said, if you need it, and then now might be the time. I, but I think, a bit, does, it, does, it, does that contain kind of like, you know, little, what are they called, like pylons? Uh, what are they called, pylons? Pythons, pythons, pistons, pistons, pistols, guns, bazookas. 
No, but you know, this little climbing hook. Ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. P- 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 it is no, pitons. Like a oh, python. Uh, yeah, I don't it's know. Python, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People can yeah. climb. Yeah. The things you are presumed to know. Yeah. We will get some of that stuff yeah. just in case. Maybe you know. Who knows what's going to happen? I think. No, I think it's. I think it's a good point that that a car grid is making. What time is it? Is it? It's midday at this point. Okay. Should we go tomorrow? Sure. Kind of. I mean, I don't know. I've used presumably some spell slots. <laughs> don't you, yeah. <laughs> and I, you know, I wouldn't mind being able to read. I don't know about you, Neris, but kind of just read up on s- spells that might be more useful for this. Yes. Thing, if that makes. Sense. Well, let's see. An explorer's pack do not contain it. Uh, you will need like something like a dungeoneer's pack. You know, to right. have the pittens or the burglar's pack. What does a dungeoneer's is- pack cost? It's more a question of. Dungeoneer is like 12, the burglars is 16. 12,000 gold? Yeah. 12 gold? <laughs> Alright, yeah. how, about, how about I? I'll go, go shopping and get some, uh, some climbing gear so we have climbing gear for all of us. And then you guys can go sleep or do. Okay. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Well, uh, I need to be going. Uh, I need to, like, put, put this guy back. And you see, he's essentially the, the burglar he caught earlier, he's just stra- uh, wrapped him around like a cat, like, you know, both hands and legs together, and like... Wow. And he walks out the door, he had like this, as his head just hits the door frame. Uh, the burglars, not the cowboy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's really a short door. I mean, no, dwarf hits it. That's bad. Um, so, any... Uh, Thing that I should we should is there anything we think might be useful magic wise we don't usually do this uh, conversation about what we should prepare for our stuff Ooh. but is there anything where we think that would make a lot of sense? Well, I'm thinking about tuning the tuning the uh, the fuck you in my hammer. Uh, you have a hammer. I have a hammer, which is uh, good against uh, constructs and also has some things to help with uh, birth. That's a really good idea. Yeah, because that's probably going to be like the two things. Uh, uh, Maybe I'll finally get some use out of it. <laughs> <laughs> you um, used it pretty well up to recently, I would say. It's true, yeah, yeah. No, it's. Uh, I'll, 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 uh, yeah. Prepare so uh, Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll finally face a construct. Yeah. But I mean, to be perfectly honest, until you uh, do something similar to the uh, animate bedroom furniture. Yeah, you know, until you do that again, yeah, I won't be impressed. No, <laughs> that is, that is a, no joke. The saddest thing in my life is that I only got to do it once. <laughs> because God, I'd love to do that again. Yeah, I have been thinking about taking that spell because that is very handy. <laughs> yeah. What what tele- so teleportation circle works that way that you need to sort of know of other circles to teleport to? Yeah. Which ones would I know at this point? I should probably write that down. Uh, you probably know the ones in uh, some kind. Might not be that useful at this point. Well, no, that's, um, that's a good point. That could come in very handy. I think. Uh, would I know the one in the in the in the uh, the, uh, the island? What's it called? On the uh, solution. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's maybe it then. Uh, yeah. No. What about the one that we chose? Uh, it's called Yo- uh, Jotunheim. Yo- Yo- uh, I didn't do that. Uh, no, there, there's no. Uh, so at least you didn't investigate to find one. Oh, okay. So no. So, so you I've only. Again, he has to have been there. It's like it's just like a safe right. point. He has yeah. to visit it. First. But also, you could you could argue that we did we did we did go to the teleportation circle in Sorvakai, but I didn't actually at any point say that I was looking at True. it specifically. True. So that I let that be up to you. What Maybe I could. Uh, Delta Bay. Yes, wasn't really around. Uh, uh, a lot I wasn't no, mostly in hell for yeah, that. Uh, so I, I'm 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 cool if, if we just say uh, the island of whatever. Uh, we, uh, let's say Solution for now and. Uh, then the rest you can add on. Cool. So, so there's the thing. If we need to get out quickly, you have plane shift, which you maybe can or cannot use. I can't use it yet, and I don't think there are any trees in mines. I have exactly. Seen many of those. The thing is, I think teleportation circle takes at least a minute to set up, so it's not, it will never be a quick escape. I just need to look up uh, because I still have dimension door. That's yeah, you that's, and that's one creature. That's also that's relatively short range. Yeah. So. It's not like a full term. I will prepare teleportation circle, but it could mean that we'll end up in solicit. <laughs> Which I mean could be worse. It could be yeah. worse. But it's just we just need to be aware of that one. Watery sphere? No, let's be up against fire. Hmm. I also have a lot of earth spells for some reason. Oh that's because I got that book once. 
Yeah. And that worm guy. Yeah. And he had a bunch of earth spells, hmm. and I just never use them. Like erupting earth, or earth tremor. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm attuned, uh, I, uh, oh, wrong man. Uh, okay. Mm. And then tune the uh, fuck you, the shield, and my Same. land saber. Yeah. Bestow curse. Bestow curse? Do we want to Choose try specific. to sneak in? Yeah, I think we should try right. stealth. I mean, we might, have, we might as well do what we always do, just try to stop both that fails and then just go sure. in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> just like, one, two, three. Oh, because I can prepare spell two, three, four, five, 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 six. I think you should then. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. That's one too many. Count? No, no, not count. How many of you? See invisibility. See that, we're cutting that one. You can see in the dark? I believe so you're the one that. Yeah, again, you're, I believe you're the only one who cannot. Well, I can. You're flexible, aren't you? Yeah, but I'm, I can also cast spells that allow me to see in the dark. Exactly. I just wanted to know if I need. Actually, I do believe you have a uh, goggle of night vision. Well, I mean, I also have a spell that's... Uh, do we? Or do we uh, again, you, I believe Espen had a pair, and again, I have I all the magic stuff for... Uh, yeah, I don't to. think it's... But do you, are you not using the Horn of the Emerald Warden? Yeah. Do you want the piece of paper? No, I have it there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so look at uh, our main thing. But we'll find it more powerful to the uh, Dark Vision. Yeah, I don't think that's necessarily going to be a huge problem. I mean, I can cast... And light stuff and I'm, shit. I'm guessing sea invisibility only helps to see that it, which is invisible, not that which is just obscured yeah. by darkness. Yes. I see. Okay. I, cu- I did cut sea invisibility from my list today. Though it is surprisingly useful. Like, I've used that spell more times than I ever thought I would. Didn't we have a spy glass or something? That yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Alright, okay. Which is also very handy. Mm-hmm. But there's so many more trailers. Greater invisibility. Yeah, that's quite good. Something, something. Dark vision rules. Uh, let's see here. Because Do we know what kind of enemies we might face? Uh, mm-hmm. Probably elementals, maybe dragons. We're sort of in that spectrum. I mean, my, I was kind of thinking on constructs. That's also yeah. very possible. Yeah, I think I think elemental dragon construct is probably the spectrum that we're in. But then who the fuck knows? Maybe. I believe I say the magic deck like that. <laughs> I mean, whatever standard underground stuff you might get in a volcano, bats, usual. Actually, yeah, bats. I wouldn't know what would be your usual. No, I'm not sure. Batman? <laughs> I have been in many You're volcanoes. A, a nose? Uh, are they, no, they're not sub. Are you sub? Are, they sub, are you sub? Uh, no, I'm the, I'm the wolf kind of. Yeah, oh, forest. Forest. Did you grow up in a forest? Uh, <laughs> Actually, you uh, grew up in an orphanage uh, by a church, I in believe. A, yeah. <laughs> That's about my life story. Whoa. Well, it's called implementation. <clears throat> so, like, did you grow up near a forest? Or like, uh, <laughs> uh, well, let's talk to you about my, uh, my... No, I sure haven't. I just thought that that would be an option. Uh, it would not be a possibility. Cause Actually, I'm not shopping, so we can't talk about it. I can't send it. <laughs> 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 All right, fine. So, hey, James, where did you grow up? <laughs> In a little town called Mind Your Business. <laughs> All right, Neris. <laughs> In Caddy Grove. Right. Like, are your parents still around? Yes. Really? Yes. What are their names? <laughs> Is that refined by the documentary? <laughs> yeah, again, I, I can call the uh, mom like... and dad. <laughs> <laughs> I just call them mom and dad. Sure. Yeah. And what did they do? They're druids. Oh, they're druids as well. Yes. Everyone in my uh, circle are druids. Mm-hmm. I mean, that makes sense. Yes. <laughs> so, um, okay. I just never, we never really asked about that either. Hey, yes, what about your family? <laughs> also, um, in case you've forgotten, uh, Naris, uh, you were told that you might learn more about the corruption in uh, Calgrove in Rundale. In Rundale? Yeah, there was that, this guy, Dalagas Fawn. Okay. Well, yeah. Delta Bay is in Rundale. Isn't it? Or is it Roondale? Roondale is within Conwell. Yeah. Conwell! Same Sorry. country. Because I asked someone right after we won in uh, Yeah, you asked, uh, what was her name? Olivia? That the torturer. Yeah. Woman. And, right. she, and again, you discerned from her, she's like, no, I have no idea what it's about. And you're like, yeah, you told her to do. Yeah. Oh, that was also the whole zone of truth? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, but you were the only one telling the truth because you wanted to? <laughs> yeah. Do you have any siblings? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you have a sister and a... I mean, 
I mean, surely, if the only person who knows it is you, then it doesn't really matter what you say at this point. It's just I know. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just change his stuff. Oh, sure. I have 17 siblings, and here's the list of their names. <laughs> uh, okay. So you might have siblings, but you definitely have parents. They're druids. Yes. And why did you leave? Because uh, there's a corruption in my oh. grove. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to uh, go out and find people who could help oh. deal with it. Oh. And, how, and how's that going? <laughs> Uh, not very well. I'm looking for people who can tell me what might be going on. Oh. But, uh... Do you well, think it might be related to the Witch Queen? I don't know. Coming back, maybe. Maybe. Because where is Caligro? That's... That's, uh, just south of Delta Bay. Oh, so it's quite... You're actually quite close to home. Uh, actually, it's, uh, right next to your, uh, home nation. Oh, uh, I'm Beltrum. from that area! <laughs> <laughs> it's in, uh, the Al-Al-Tran. continent of Olenga. All in God, Valtoral, right? That's where I'm from. Yeah. I always forget that. I'm somewhere um, in Just so we we can recall it all, uh, your father's name, uh, you oh, told yeah, me, is Finn <laughs> Kailan, I believe. Uh, and your mother is uh, Sael uh, Saanis. And. Uh, yeah. No, uh, no real Samas. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, where is real Samas? On the airship. He's on the airship. I didn't, want, I, didn't, I didn't mean to pry, you know. That's fine. It's a bit of a situation. Where the fuck do you want? Well, we are, the only thing I've been told is that you uh, grew up in an orphanage in a, uh, of a church, yeah. probably for Liger, and that's didn't, it. Yeah, again, you didn't know who your parents were. Nope. And but we didn't discuss where, right? Uh, I think we said Gravenhill uh, in yeah, the end. That sounds right. Okay. Wow, what a, what a kind of a lovely, sort of open. Thing for you to build on, if you wanted to. <laughs> what about you, Eos? Well, I'm from Valtoral somewhere. Um, uh, Aurora and I never really, we don't really know who our parents were, but we grew up in a uh, in a whorehouse. Oh, famously. Oh, I think. We maybe never, but we have mentioned that. Yes. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't listen. Until we were old enough to kind of, you know, strike out, out on our own, and then we. We struck out on our own and we stole, you know, we, we spent a lot of time stealing stuff. Mm. We spent a bit of time in the Thieves Guild, that didn't go very well, and now we have. Was that where you you knew one guy at some point? We met we definitely knew a guy, yeah. That you seem to have a bad relationship with. Yeah, you recall Siga told, uh, talked about uh, uh, Iago. Right, uh, and there is, there is stuff uh, about him, because... You made pretty sure that he was dead when you left him. Um, he might, but there was there was something about I mean, like this is maybe a year ago in mm, our world yeah. where he was. There was whispers about him maybe being back, or there was something. Uh, Sika says that there are some rumors that he is active again oh, in okay. Valtorol. Yeah, yeah, I think I need to remind Aurora of that one because that's going to be whatever. I might have to. Wait, so is that nearby? If he's a female, half uh, no, no, that a druid. It's, uh, it's you are right now uh, on the, the middle continent yeah, section, yeah, and, and they are yeah. down on the next continent. Next, like, oh, I thought they were. Uh, I thought they were Aerodel Big, but it's crossed it. Yeah, it's across the, just, the just airport. Think, yeah. But that's not that's not that's sort of a you know that's uh, that's not right now. I it's not. Know, I, I mean, say, you know, but the, yeah, that's what that's that's where that's where we're from. And then uh, you know we we kind of after Valtoral got a bit hot, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we we went to uh, we went to uh, the uh, the Dragon Empire. What's it called? The Draconic Empire. The Draconian. Nailed it. Yeah. And that's so, where we met you guys. I mean, I think. so this yes. kind of thing. I'm, 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 I'm getting the feeling that everyone about the history adventuring here has. Oh, thanks. Um, all right, cool. Uh, There'll be a total of forty-eight uh, gold pieces. You all owe me. I owe you twelve. Twenty gold pieces. <laughs> I'm not a part of man. Twenty, you say? All right, fine. I give up. Oh, twenty. Okay. I, I am. I will. I will try. I'm just going to take it out of my four hundred five platinum pieces. <laughs> um, there we go. Um, so I kind of think that everyone has their own, like, you know, like shit going on. Mm, mm, mm. And I get, you know, around the whole, like, saving the world thing like that. And that's all great and everything. But, like, seriously, if we need to take care of some, some personal business, just, you know, save it. I mean, I'm down. Do we ever do anything else? Wait, you should only save the world. Oh, really? Yeah. I have 
I mean, if, if we happen to go by Cloudy Falls while we're in the area, then uh, I would not uh, be uh, against it. Check Cloudy Falls, where's that? That's in uh, uh, the large uh, part of Novinia in the Draconian Empire. What's what's there? Uh, it's uh, it's where the uh, the Sator brothers are. That's the next goal of my uh, my assignment by uh, uh, up, by my. Oh, uh, the the. Oh, you still lake. have more stuff to do. Yes. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you kind of got that all sorted out. You went there. You got married. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, that, that was just uh, that, that was actually um, completely unrelated. Really. That <laughs> Really? <laughs> that was just sort of a... Uh, yeah, yeah. It's Cloudy Falls, right behind our ear, because, you know, we kind of go through that area a lot, so... Yep. Okay, if we're going to bounce around and get him, if, you know, maybe we should... You could help with your corruption stuff. Is that, that's, that's nearby? That's in Cali Grove. That's, uh, that's quite near our place. Pretty good. That's, that's like where we are right now, right? The southern island... Uh, yeah, it's it's off the continent, yeah. But that's okay because we were heading down there anyway oh, yeah. because there was some there might there was oh, talk yeah, about right. yeah. a champion maybe uh, being in Morokai. In, in Morokai, exactly. Yeah. So that actually might after we right, after right. we fix everything so up here with Carl's senior elf then and uh, we could actually go yeah. right. that way. Makes sense. Down I mean some uh, <laughs> I mean that's some uh old what's it what's it called? Olengar. Olengar. O L L. Okay. All right. Enough of this. Mm. And now she doesn't appear to. Do you have any sisters? You have some friends, but uh, I, yeah. no, no, no sisters. You have friends. <laughs> it's the, his chosen family. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're the chosen ones. Wait, no, that's chosen. Yeah. Um, do we want to like uh, rest up and then? Uh, yeah, I think we should. I think we should. I think we should. Does um. So I know, I know, I know, I know that uh, uh, Rune, Runedale is a city under siege. Yeah. Is that like an art museum or like that? Yeah, that that, that will be. Um, I, that will be I like go, in the center of town. I go to anything that's kind of like an art museum type place to yeah. do a little bit of worshiping. Oh, cool. that's great. Uh, yeah, you see, um, there's a lot of statues. Uh, mm-hmm. Seems to be like in fashion right now in the, the exhibit. Yeah. Um, especially marble. Uh, it seems that you have some nearby marble mines that they use. Um, and it's beautiful. It's yeah. I, you, you can. It's like you know you're not supposed to touch the exhibit, but yeah. you, you have to because. Yeah. Damn. Look I, at that I, curve on that body. Damn. I do. Uh, I I appreciate uh, all of you. Uh, that flyer helps the world. Yeah. And then you're able to kill some people. Cool. And, and Paulus floats behind you, like still, still giggling. I don't oh, yeah. have any outstanding business, really. I mean, what do you mean, like? Like Iago business or like? No, just gen- just like kind of right now. The, the you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Crew. Right, Aurora's not here, so I'm not going to do that. No. I guess I can. You know, I'm, I'm down to chill. Anyone want to do something this evening? Jinx. Just gonna chill. Let's chill. What do you want to do? Aurora. What does one? Ha- what fun can one have in a city that's under sea? That's, that's gotta be someone drinking somewhere. Yeah. Ooh. That Ooh, is... I don't know what to do. Do you want to disguise yourself? As, do you want to disguise ourselves as hobgoblins and then infiltrate that camp and kill their leaders? So I was thinking about that. That's kind of pretty fun. But yeah, right. You, you were saying? No, I was going to. I was going to go to the, the army camp and do some. Yeah, just kind of hang out and yeah. lose morale. But your thing sounds fun. So you <laughs> do that. I'll just stick to the thing that I'm good at. Just not. Could we do that? Thing. Do I speak? Do I speak hobgoblin? No, I do not speak hobgoblin. I think the only one who does is Blake. I could probably read Hobgoblin. Um, <laughs> <laughs> could you write down what you're saying yeah, right now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, that, that's the thing. I would be able to read it because of one of yeah. the uh, Elbridge invocations that makes uh, me able to read. Uh, that's clever. Can you also write? No, that's the thing. I can only read it. Uh, so it's like you get a speakerphone, like that. Yeah, essentially. Oh, but I do have a spell where I can technically possess a Hobgoblin. So. That might help. Might help, yeah. It might be expensive. Maybe that. Maybe this is not an evening activity. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. Let's go boost morale instead. Or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Boost morale. Thanks for listening. The intro music was by Philip Fisher, whereas the outro music was by Martin Kerr. The other pieces which are mentioned in the description down below were by Kevin McLeod. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again in Dorkin'.